A gay girl in Damascus was the name of a blog by Amina, who posted this a few months ago. We had a visit from the security services. It was late at night, in the wee small hours. Everyone was fast asleep. I woke when I heard the clamour and immediately guessed what had happened. Abu Ali, our doorman, had been awakened by someone ringing the gate and stumbled there to look out. He saw two young guys in their mid-twenties, clad in black leather jackets, muscular and both smoking. He knew immediately who they were and rang the alarm to wake everyone up. He was surprised when they stated who they were here for. Me. Meanwhile, I had a pretty strong notion when I woke up exactly what had happened. So I pulled on my clothes as fast as I could and stumbled downstairs to the courtyard. My father was already out there. He hadn't bothered to get dressed at all and was wearing just a nightshirt. He was already in animated discussion with them. When I appeared, one of them nodded. That's her. Well, on that occasion, Amina escaped from the clutches of the security forces, but yesterday her luck changed and she's now disappeared. Her girlfriend, Sandra Bagaria, lives in Montreal in Canada. She explained what had happened. She was out yesterday afternoon to go and meet someone at 6 p.m. Damascus time. That's what she wrote me in the morning, early morning. And as she was walking, that precise moment, a car just went next to her and three guys, early 20s, just grabbed her and put her away. She uh, managed to fight, to hit one of them, and her friend just ran. Did Amina realise that uh, she was in some danger? Did she believe she was in danger? She knew it. She knew it uh, when uh, they first came to uh, arrest her. From that event, she understood that her life wouldn't be the same. Actually, her Syrian life wouldn't be the same. I understand that much of her family then left. Exactly. Why did she choose to stay? She loves Syria. She loves her country. She believes that the regime uh, has to uh, fall down. And she, she's very young and very outspoken, as you may have understood, and she writes very well. So she told me that she wanted to take advantage of that and uh, trying to, uh, to make things happen. I never saw her scared, uh, maybe once or twice, but she always had that kind of belief that uh, it's by uh, moving, fighting, that uh, you can make it happen. And Do you but- think her profile may now protect her? Well, I think so. Uh, maybe also the fact that she's American, fortunately uh, for the other Syrian, like she could be maybe more protected. And I, I sure hope that the other Syrian could get the same treatment. She has American nationality as well, does she? Yes, yeah, she, she's born in Virginia. So she has that lucky, let's say, uh, position. Mm-hmm. I don't know the treatment, but she got threats of her being raped in front of her father when she uh, first uh, she escaped, let's say, arrest. So I don't know if she's going to be uh, dealing with uh, more uh, abusive uh, treatment, uh, being openly gay in uh, in jail. Maybe she's not in jail. Maybe she's uh, they're putting her on a plane, uh, throwing her to uh, Iran, or I don't know. Sandra Bagaria, whose girlfriend, the blogger Amina, disappeared in Damascus.